The movement will be in 20x. So it's actually in 20x7. I get it. Follow it and then let's see. So one, what do we do? First, the year ended of the company is 31st October. So first, we need to find out about the current value of the asset as at 31st October EBASE 20 axis. Are you following me? Yes. Carrying value as at the 1st October 20 axis. So how do we go about that? Now, if the asset was bought, were bought in June and we are in August, how many months is that? Uh, ten, ten months. Ten months. <laughs> right. So if we are in ten months, meaning the current value of this asset will be equal to, we would tell the examiner that all workings are in thousands, so that. This becomes 2,500 divided by the estimated useful life, 10 years, times 10 months over 12 months. Sounds good? What do we have? To the nearest thousand, two hundred eight dollars. Hey, I didn't, I didn't rock my Okay, wait. So don't clean, don't clean your two. I should bring the cost because <laughs> two thousand five hundred minus. I said, who will start so? Yeah. So now it will be two five hundred minus what? Two zero eight, right? So what's the carry value now? Two two ninety. So as at this date, this is the carry value of the asset. But remember, anytime you hear, you see, in this question, the examiner even didn't tell us account for it as per IAS twelve. He just said we should account for this transaction. But the reason why we know it is an income tax question is because of that capital allowance story inside. So, now that we have the current value of the assets, we need to also find about the tax base of the assets. And you know that the tax base of the assets should be the cost minus the capital allowance. So, the cost is now 2,500 minus, how do we get capital allowance in this case? Still 2,500 times, if as it, 25%. Remember, it's not a full year. It is any and so toy, you know. Sorry, we are so never 10 over 12. Are you getting the picture? So what do we have? 2,500 minus, so help me out with this. Five. Judith, are you confirming? No. If you don't confirm, let's say you do baby, I'll see a tier. Who am I born? So subtract for me. Two five minus five twenty. That should be thousand nine eighty. One nine eight zero. Now, so what what are we doing? Stay with me. So as of thirty first October two thousand and sixteen. The carrying of value of the asset is 2,292. But the tax base of the asset from the tax authority's perspective is 1,980. So this leads us to what we call temporary difference. So to find the temporary difference, we say that it should be the carrying value minus the tax base. So what is the carrying value of the asset? 2,292 minus the tax base of the asset 1980. 1, so what do we have as the temporary difference? 312. Three, one, then I mentioned to you that when the temporary difference is positive, it leads to what? Deferred tax liability. So this thing is going to lead us to deferred tax liability. So I'm souping up my board and get that done. So, DT 
liability will be equal to the temporary difference times the tax rate. So my temporary difference, 312 times my tax rate, which is what? 25%. So what do we have? Seventy-eight. So this seventy-eight is the deferred tax for the year. So what is the double entry for this? A hana. So the general entry for this is that we're going to be debiting the income statement with a seventy-eight and credit the deferred tax with what? 78 and this is in the BS that's balance sheet. So when I should prepare or if I'm preparing an extra financial statement, because remember the question didn't say do this, they are in your workings, but I'll say the financial statement implication. So income statement for the year ended. This is an extract though. For the year ended 31st Oct 2016, what do you think will come in the income statement for 2016? Definitely, our depreciation will come, okay, from the working one. What's the depreciation? 208. Then then, deferred tax liability. Also, 78. That is the income statement that starts. Are we done? No. I can't balance sheet. So finish writing and let's do the balance sheet. But we've not answered the question yet. Because the question didn't say 2016, it says 2017. But the Amtasa Otiya said, say, this is what we call deferred tax. But the 2017 is what is going to bring us what we call movement in deferred tax. SOFP, asset 31st, out, 2006. So what do you think will come in the balance sheet? So under non-current assets, we're going to have property, plants, and equipment. And this carrying value is going to come there, 2292. Then under liability, and under non-current liability, we're going to bring the deferred tax. Which was what? The 78. So this is how the balance sheet will be presented for the first year. Sir, uh, can you finish the workings and then do, do the, the income statement? Yes, you can. But because it's separate years, you can't, that is why I'm doing it in congruence. So I do for the first year, then I do the financial statement. Then I go to the next year. Okay. So this is what we call deferred tax. So the first year tax that is charged is what we refer to as the deferred tax. Now, after the first year of charging deferred tax, any other deferred tax on the asset is what we call movement in deferred tax. So to answer the question itself, which is for the year ended 31st October 2017, let's see how it will be. So for 2017, that is what the examiner really asked us to do, which is where the movement in deferred tax is. So for learning purposes, I'm going to do a heading or use a heading of movement in deferred tax. So you understand what we're doing. So in the second year, we need to calculate the carrying value of the asset as at 31st of 
2017. So what are we going to have? Remember, our current value will be the cost. So we could stay with this figure, 2292 minus, remember depreciation is a straight line, so 2500 over 10. Sounds good. Or somebody is missing. Straight line method. So I'm taking the carry value from year two and just dividing this. So what do I have? So this will be 2292 minus what? I think 250. 2500 over 10 should be 250. So what do I get as the carry value? 2042. Good. But then we need the tax base of the assets. So how do we get the tax base? So to get a tax base, this is where you have to be careful. You will listen or you listen to the question and the examiner said that the tax base or the capital allowance is on a base reducing balance. Hence, the tax base is going to be this uh, did we subtract? Yeah, this one. 1980 minus what? 1980. 1980 times it as 25%. So what do we have? So 1980 minus 4. Nine. So what do we have? What do you do? 